welcome back to the Shabby Chic Vintage Chicks. Here we're going to work on one of our angel cutout ornaments. For this one, I'm just going to paint this totally white and I'm going to ignore that score line. Actually, I should say I'm using crinoline by Country Chic Paint. It's just a tiny bit of a grayish white, not a pure, pure white. And there's a reason for that, um, which I'll show you in just a few minutes. So I'm going to paint this little piece here that kind of looks like a candy corn, but that's her sleeve. And then I'm just going to grab a Posca. I could have grabbed white chalk paint, but the Posca was handy and it's quick and easy this way. So I'm going to paint the area that is her wing. I'm also going to paint her head and her little feet that stick out the bottom with the Posca. Now, if you don't know what Poscas are, they are an acrylic paint pen. So it's actually paint inside of a marker form and it's quick and easy and well, a lot less brushes to clean up. So I kind of love them. And it kind of brings us back to our childhood of coloring and how relaxing that is. Just a fun new way of crafting. So I'm going in and I'm gonna do a second coat on this because I want this pretty white, especially on her wing area. And sometimes you'll find that the paint absorbs into the wood grain. So you just wanna give it a good coat. A Little bit more here on the feet. And then I'm gonna switch out to actually a light orange, it's called. And it's kind of a peachy color. I find over top of a white, it gives a beautiful skin color. And so I'm gonna do her head in this color. And I'm also gonna do her little feet that stick out. Now, if you find your paint pen isn't flowing very well, give it a little shake and then just dab down the tip again and it should start flowing pretty well. All right, now I'm gonna take a silver Posca and I'm gonna paint my star silver on this one. You can see how quickly this goes along. Sorry, I haven't been live lately, people over on Facebook, but I seem to be down with a bit of a bug. And so uh, surviving through a whole live seems to be a little difficult for me right now, but I wanted to still continue to get my Christmas crafts done and I also wanted to share these with you. So now I'm just painting up the little halo. Okay, so now we are going to grab a Chalk Couture Transfer. And this is a big floral one. Sorry, I don't know the name offhand. If you happen to know the name, put it down in the comments so you can help others out. So you just peel it back from the backer sheet and I'm gonna take a towel, just a hand towel, and I'm gonna use that for fuzzing. So you just lie it down a couple times. It's gonna pick up a tiny bit of lint from the towel and it's gonna help it that it doesn't peel up the paint on my angel pieces. Now I'm gonna take the body or the dress, I should say, and I'm gonna kind of decide which way I want the pattern to go on her dress. And I'm also gonna put her little sleeve on there. And then using um, Shimmer Frost, I believe it's called from Chalk Couture, I'm just gonna apply a little bit. Now there's not a whole lot of difference between the crinoline color and the shimmer frost, but it is gonna be enough detail that when the light hits it, it's gonna look like a lacy kind of finish to it. I absolutely love doing this, using the same tones of colors, but just with a little bit of shimmer or just slightly you know, different color, just gives it a little more detailing to the dress. So you're just gonna apply that on with the squeegee and just make sure it's all smooth and squeegee off any excess and put it back into the jar. Really quick and easy, guys. And these transfers, if you don't know, we don't sell them personally. Well, my daughter does, but I don't. Um, if you're interested in them, say so in the comments and I will give you the link to how you can get your hands on some. But these are awesome because they are reusable over and over and over again. And you don't have to just use them for what they're made for, as you can see in this project. So now you're just gonna peel it back and we're gonna let those dry for a quick second, but it really doesn't take long at all. Can you see the difference there? I'm hoping you can make that out. Now we're just gonna apply some glue. I happen to be using Stick Fast. We are out of it on the website. I'm still waiting for more to come in, but we're just gonna deal with what we got for now. <laughs> and now we're gonna apply her dress over top of the body. We're gonna take her little sleeve and put it on there as well. Now, I realize at this point I didn't paint her hand, but 
I'm not too concerned about it. I could go back and do that after, but it really, you're not going to notice it, I don't think. Let's apply the little halo, just like so. Now I'm going to take some tacky glue, or you can use some craft glue of any type. Um, I'm not using stick fast because I need it to be a little bit thicker. And so I'm applying that with a paintbrush just to get a good thick coat because I'm going to add some glitter to this. Now in my basket of goodies here, I have found this fake snow, which really seems to be fine, thin pieces of plastic but it's got a little shimmer to it and it's white and I think it's gonna look quite cute. If I was to do this over again, I think next time I would probably go in with diamond dust. I think it would just give it a little more of a, a fancier finish than what this does, but this works. I did have it handy and I wanted to try it out. I was hoping it would give more of a feathery detail. Now I'm just gonna take um, my Cricut pick here and just clean out the hole so I can get my wire in there after. Just gonna smooth it out a little bit, make sure it's all covered in all the little spots, press it down where we need to and shake off the excess. She's come along really cute. Now this next part, I thought I'd like to add hair. <laughs> if you have not worked with dull hair before, it's an interesting project. <laughs> um, this is really one of my first time using it. So I'm gonna kind of curl it up really tight and I'm gonna glue that down. I did use a bit of hot glue. Apparently, um, my camera did not pick up that little spot of, of doing that, but you'll see here in a second, I'm gonna take this last bit of curl and I'm gonna stick a little bit of glue in the halo hole for the top of her head so she doesn't look like she's bald on top. <laughs> that would be pretty silly. And I'm just gonna tuck that little curl right in there. So I'm gonna squish up the little curl, tuck it in there, and then apply a little more glue and press down that curl just so she has some hair on the top of her head inside that halo. I could have applied the halo over top, but I didn't think it would lay as nicely. So this worked out beautifully though. All right, so just a tiny speck more, get that curl pressed down into place. And I think she's looking pretty cute. Let's give her a little trim. What do you guys think? All right, so now I've gone in and I thought, let's add a little more detail. So I found some vintage lace. I think my friend Sue might have sent me this in a gift package one time. She, she sent me a bunch of craft supplies and I'm so appreciative of those that do that. It's fun to, to get different craft supplies that I might not have thought of and just kind of use them in different projects. So this looks absolutely beautiful at the bottom of her dress. Look at that. You can still slightly see her feet through, so it's kind of nice with the lace. And then there's this other little piece here. I'm not sure if this one came from Sue as well or not, but I'm just gonna trim it down. It's got some little pearl beads in it, which match that lace trim that I put at the bottom of the dress. And again, I'm just gonna hot glue that onto the sleeve of her dress just giving it a lot more dimension and kind of more of a vintage look. What do you think? Do you like adding lace and stuff to your projects? It kind of keeps it to that primitive or vintage style. And I just think it's really pretty. Now I'm going to grab some wire and I'm going to take my paintbrush handle and I'm just going to twist it around there. And then I'm going to slide that off the brush and just put it through the hole of her um, wing there. Just kind of squeeze it around. You might have to grab a piece of pliers just to kind of pinch it tight. So I'm using some needle nose pliers here. And then the other end, I'm actually gonna put through her halo. If you wanted to, you could just tie a ribbon as a loop there on the wing, but I kind of like this style for, um, for my, I don't know. I just kind of like this style, I guess. <laughs> there she is, she is done and she is beautiful. Can you see all the details in that dress that it looks like lace over top with the uh, chalk couture transfer? And then just that added dimension of lace on top of that just really sets it off. I hope you enjoyed this project and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.